Hi, and welcome to my YouTube channel called Living in Hayward, Wisconsin. Today, I'm here on Main Street in the iconic Hayward area, and I'm going to show you a little bit about Main Street. So come along with me for the tour. I'm Audrey Miller. I'm the broker owner of Northwest Wisconsin Realty Team, and you'll see our office as one of the stops along Main Street in Hayward. If you've ever been to Hayward, you know about our Main Street. It is one of the draws of the area. There's tons of cool shops along Main Street. And the area of Main Street that has the most businesses, just back to back, is the first two blocks. So I'm gonna give you a tour today of the first two blocks of Main Street of Hayward, Wisconsin. If you like my channel, feel free to subscribe, like, or share. And I am a Hayward native for, what, 36 years now? So I remember when this building, which is on the north side of Main Street, first building um, on the north side of the first block, this used to be our library. If you've been coming to Hayward for quite a while, you probably remember, but as a teenager, I spent many hours in this library and now it is the home of Riverbrook uh, Bike and Ski. And it's a pretty cool building still to this day. And I love that they turned it into a bike and ski shop. Both things are something that we are well known for in the Hayward, Sealy, and Cable areas. So I'm heading up the north side of Main Street first, and then we'll go on the south side of the first block. And you can just kind of see the different businesses here um, and get a feel for Main Street. We always have a couple of empty buildings that are waiting for new tenants. So if you're thinking of starting a business or wanting to join the Main Street community, there's usually one or two buildings in the first couple blocks that are available. But some of these businesses have been here for a long time. Some of them are relatively new. So if you haven't been to Hayward in a while, you might be seeing something that you didn't know was here. And if you've been here recently, you might remember exactly what this looks like. This barbershop has been here for years and years. It's where my dad used to go to get his hair cut. And this is Lynn Marie's Candies. They're relatively new to Main Street, but not new at all to the Hayward area. They've been in Windmill Square down on 27 South for a long time. And then we have the Hayward Shirt Factory, which is another staple of the Main Street community. By the way, it is a gorgeous day in June uh, today. This is the blue skies and the sunshine that you love to see in Northern Wisconsin when you come to visit. It's a little informational directory with the names of the businesses, little maps and everything right at the beginning of the south side of Main Street. And just so you know, there's lots of other businesses in Hayward that are not on Main Street, but today the tour is focused on the Main Street community. But there's places like West Dairy or um, other ones that are just on the block to the side of Main Street or maybe even on the third and fourth blocks of Main Street, which I'm not planning to show today. Hayward Mercantile Company, they've been here forever. Urban Trek is a newer business that's been here for a number of years, maybe five. And then of course we have the iconic Angler's Bar and Grill. This place has been here since the 1930s, I believe. Um, many, many people who have been to Hayward have eaten at this outdoor seating at Angler's. Used to have a bowling alley, which has now been converted into a really nice side room for more seating in that bar and restaurant. To finish up the rest of the first block on the south side, this is a brand new addition. The Angry Minnow has opened up a spot on Main Street. Previously, they've only been at their location along Highway 63, and now they have joined the ranks of the Main Street community. This place, my son had one of his first jobs at the ice cream shop here called Sundays with Annabelle and Charlotte. They have very good ice cream here. Super healthy, of course, right? <laughs> Anyway, and there's a sneak peek of the second block and we'll get to that shortly. Well, here we have Hi-Ho Silvers. They're a jeweler who's been a main staple of Main Street. I don't know for how many years, but I think ever since I lived here. And again, Eagle's Wings Fashions. They have been here for a very long time as well. And all of the shops on Main Street tend to be open every day during the summertime. Uh, the majority, the bakery's only open 
I believe Thursday through Sunday, but most of them are open every day during the season and typically opening at 10 or 11 in the morning. I know lots of people who have cabins up here who use Main Street as a rainy day event. All of this is covered, especially on this side. So you can be here on a rainy day and have a good time enjoying all the sights and foods and sounds of Main Street um, without getting wet and when it's not good to be on the lake. Tremley's Candy is one of the very iconic places and a must visit for many kids, especially. Huge candy shop. The bright red colors are very iconic. They have a big expansion area that they did where they're making all of their fudges and candies. If you need cash, you get an ATM right here on Main Street. And you might wonder about parking. There is a big parking lot just off to the um, south side of Main Street over by the Franz and Bank. And then there's another parking area just to the north of Main Street. Um, Ronnings, I wanted to pause here because Ronnings has been here forever. I don't know how many years, but again, it's been a clothing store that was here since I was a kid. So, and our Main Street, as you can see, um, today it's mid-June. It's not terribly busy today, but most of the summer, you'll have a hard time finding parking on Main Street, or you might have to circle around a couple of times to find a parking spot. And there'll be lots of people out and about and walking on Main Street on any given day of the summer. We love our visitors, we welcome you, and we're glad that you're thinking of visiting or have visited. I wanted to start up on the third block of Main Street on the north side, specifically to mention the Out of the Woods Winery. This is something that's like a little bit out of the way. You gotta walk a little bit further up Main Street, but definitely worth the extra block to go to the Out of the Woods Winery. It is one of four restaurants that are on Main Street. We have Anglers, which I showed you, and then we have TNT's. Oh, I should have said five restaurants. We have TNT's Bar and Grill on the second block. We have the Out of the Woods Winery. We have the new addition that I'll show you shortly, which is the Three Fly Sisters. Um, wonderful atmosphere in there, wine store, shop. And then we have um, Main Street Tacos. And this used to be a two-way street, but a number of years ago, in an effort to provide more parking and reduce congestion on Main Street, it switched to a one-way. So now you can only go up Main Street and not down Main Street. So don't make that mistake. And then we have the north side of the second block of Main Street. And I'm walking to the south here. Silver Store Market is a relatively new place. They've got all kinds of cool gifts and items in there. This is the Three Fly Sisters that I had mentioned. Got great wines there. And then we'll continue on down here. All in the wall, books and records. We got another store of Tremblay's. We have Augren's Boutique, which is a clothing store. And then yours truly, the Northwest Wisconsin Realty Team Building. <laughs> That's us, come and see us anytime. There's our storefront here in our office. Then as I mentioned, one of the restaurants on Main Street, TNT's. And to finish off the end of the second block, we have our Main Street Tacos store, which is a great addition to Main Street that's been here for probably four or five years. So that completes our tour of Main Street. I hope you really enjoyed that. And if you've been thinking of coming to Hayward for vacation and wondering if Main Street is worth the visit, hopefully that helped answer your questions. And I'd also love if you have been to Main Street many times over the years. I'd love to hear your memories. I'd love to hear who you were here with on Main Street, what activities you did, maybe memories you have as a child. I think Hayward holds a lot of nostalgia for a lot of people who have been coming here over the years with their families, had a cabin on the lake and all of that. So I would love to hear about your Main Street adventures. Maybe you've been here for the Berkebiner finish and have some wild stories to tell. Please comment on my YouTube channel and on this video. Also check out the best of Hayward video that I have on my YouTube channel for other recommendations of restaurants and bars in the Hayward area. And as always, Feel free to like, subscribe, or share my channel if you enjoy it. Again, I'm Audrey Miller. 
broker owner of Northwest Wisconsin Realty Team, my channel is called Living in Hayward, where we talk about all things real estate related and about living in Hayward. See you next time.